Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can add IV on any objects in Blender easily. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.4, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this defaults in the press and A on the keyboard and delay. So here I will use Suzanne character, you can use any of the model you like. So go to add mesh select monkey which is Suzanne, press S and increase the scaling, 3 for side view. And, and hold Ctrl K and rotate it to get 5 degree angle here and let's place this just above to the grid like this nice so let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here press S and increase the scaling I will add wireframe modifier onto this Suzanne so select the Suzanne come to this modifier add modifier and add this wireframe modifier and let's increase the thickness here a bit okay and also i will enable this boundary option and let's apply this one okay so now we got this mesh in wireframe mode fine so in order to add iv we will get a free add-on from blender only so we need to enable that one so further go to this edit preferences in add-ons look for iv just type it as ivy so by default this add curve will be disabled enable it save those preferences and close so now select the object where you want to add that IV. So here I want to add IV on this character. So I'll select that one. And from where you want to start the IV, we need to select that point as an origin point. So here the origin point is here. So we need to set this origin point from where we want to set the IV. So in order to set that, select the object, press tab key to edit mode or else you can change it from here. So for example, if I want to add IV here, select that vertex shift s and select this cursor to select it so now we got our origin point here so press tab to exit this edit mode so now being selected this mesh press n on the keyboard and click on this create button so here we got this iv generator right click on this add new iv and we will get an iv added here you can see we got this iv added first let me change or add cavity so that it is visible clearly and here in drop down we got this IV generator with an update IV so if I make any changes and if I click on this update it will be updated here you can see it is getting updated so now let's reduce this IV size and let's increase this to 5 and let's update this one once again so now we got this IV updated here so I will disable this grow leaves option I will add leaves separately and update iv so that we will get this iv without leaves and let's increase the primary weight and check so if i increase this to 0.59 and if i update this one so it got expanded here so let's increase the brand size so i will increase the brand size to 0 0.061 and update click on this update so make sure the values which are changing should be in minimal so here you can see the drastic change with the values of this so I will reduce this to 0 0.002 and I will update once again so okay so this much of size is fine and if you want to add IV on other place again select this mesh press tab on the keyboard for edit mode select any vertex where you want to add that IV so here I want to add that IV shift S and cursor to select it we got that origin point here press tab to exit that edit mode so click on this new iv with the values of this previous one in this way i will add few more ivs here and there and i will be back soon here i have added a few ivs right so now we need to convert this into mesh so currently this is not a mesh this will be in curve form you can see we got the curves here so we need to convert this into mesh so let's select this iv go to this object convert convert to mesh so in the same way we need to convert all these ivs into mesh and later we can add leaves so now i have converted these ivs into mesh so now let's add leaves onto this converted iv so select this iv any of the iv you have created come to this particles click on this plus icon to add the particles and particle number i will reduce this to 350 start frame change to 0 and end frame change to 0 
So now you can see we got all the particles visible from the starting frame. Now instead of these particles, we will be adding leaf. So you can download free leaf models from Sketchfab or free3d.com. I will download a free asset and I will import that one here. So here you can see we got this leaf model, right? So for this leaf model, we need to set the origin point at the corner of the leaf, at the end of the leaf. So if I select the leaf, you can see the origin point is here. So we need to fix that one. So press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. So move on to this vertex selection and select this vertex here. Now shift S and select this cursor to select it. Now we got the origin point here, right? So press tab to exit this edit mode. Now select this IV where we have added particles. Select that IV. Scroll down, come to this render settings. Sorry, render options. Change this render as from hello to object and in object we need to select this leaf so let's bring it here eyedropper and select this leaf object so now we can see we got the leaves visible right so let's increase the scaling a bit so i'll increase the scaling to like 0.15 but the orientation is not looking good so let's change this orientation so come to this rotation options enable it drop down and orientation change it to normal so normal will be fine and click on this randomize option so that we'll get all the leaves visible okay now scroll down come to the scale options and let's bring the randomness in those leaves fine so if you want to increase the count you can do that so let's increase the scaling to like thousand Nice. So now you can see we got leaves on that IV. So if I move on to this shading viewport, that is material viewport, we got this texture on the leaves, but the IV is not having any material. So select the IV, come to this material options, add new material and color, bring it a dark and change it to brown or green, whichever you like. So I'll change this to brown. Nice. So now we can see we got this IV created on our selected model easily. So in this way, I will add leaves onto these other IVs also. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.